and <clears throat> the members present, Bill Lewis, Shirley Taylor, Lynn Hubbard, and Craig, forgot the last name, Becker, <laughs> said that. <clears throat> And I have it right here. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to make our first call, get our feet wet. And that will be. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. We're looking for, I guess, Severino Finelli. Finelli? Yep. It's a Finelli Electric Contracting. Uh, eight to get out? Hello? Hi, Mr. Finelli. Yes. Uh, this is Bill Lewis from the Madison Board of Assessment and Appeals. And Hello, how are you, Bill? Not too bad. President is Lynn Hubbard, Shirley Taylor, and Craig Becker. Okay. So we're, uh, and, and I'm speaking with, you're, you're uh, Severino? Severino. Severio Finelli. Severio, okay, Mr. Severo. I mean, Mr. Finelli. Uh, is anybody else going to be testifying or just you? No, just me. No, okay. Okay. And you're appealing your assessment of $6,030. Yes. Okay. You have the floor. You tell me why. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we have a small home office, very small. Mm -hmm. uh, it has uh, two desks, two chairs, a couple of file cabinets, a couple of computers, and a copy printer, you know, and everything we purchased for the, all the furniture was purchased back in 2008. Mm -hmm. It didn't cost $2,000 then. And the computers, you know, well, the computer, one of them is probably 10 years old. The other one's about three years old. And uh, printer, well, we just bought a new printer. So it was only worth about $300. So, I mean, if you were to say, oh, we're going to liquidate everything at Finale Electric over here, you'd be lucky to get a grant for everything in the room. So I figured 2000 would be a okay. fair assessment. Yeah. We, they said, brand new, we did, maybe we paid $2,000 for all the furniture. And that was back in 08. Okay. Uh, I forgot to swear you in. We have to take a note. <laughs> so, do you solemnly swear or solemnly and sincerely affirm, as the case may be, that the evidence you shall give concerning this case shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, shall help you God or upon penalty of perjury? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now, <laughs> now we'll continue. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't need to repeat everything, do I? No, 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 no. That's, <laughs> okay. you, you, uh, you agreed to it. 
Um, it looks like you didn't file. Yeah, I tried to file, but I couldn't figure out how to fill out the form. It was kind of confusing because there's a lot of issues on there for farm stuff. That's a, well, I was supposed to list everything down here, and then I thought it sounded like I was being a little, I don't know, maybe facetious, you know, like, what am I, being wise or something? I'm listing chairs, a fax machine that's 20 years old, and seeing you know, all, it's like, eh, so I figured out, I'll just, I'll just wait and feel it. <laughs> well. Unfortunately, I, mean, I don't know. How do you, if you put down what you put to what I paid for back in 08, which yeah, well, it uh, has, and if you take all the take all the uh, uh, depreciation off, it's worthless. I, but you would get as you you file when you from the time you purchase it, you put it in the box and it has a schedule for depreciation and it carries it forward. And it only goes down to like 50%. It doesn't go to zero unless right. it unless it's disposed of. Unfortunately, if you didn't fill that out, I have absolutely nothing to go by. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to start by filling that out. Uh, so, okay. So and, and the assessor's office will assist you if you have any questions on which box to, to which. And obviously, like the farm section, all that stuff doesn't relate to you. But there is yeah, one. Basically, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to call them because I had a lot of questions on the, on the form. I remember trying to fill it out, and I said, "No, I just I I got to be doing this wrong." So, and I didn't know how to explain it to me. So you put down what the original cost was, which I started to do, but then when you take the assessment, it only goes down to fifty percent, you say, which is fine, still. Yeah, could you hold could you hold on for one second? Sure. It, it's okay. Thank you. Oh, are you the sole proprietor? No, it's an LLC. Okay. So you're a member? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um yeah, I think we got to start by, you can just go online and print the form. Well, yeah, yeah, no, okay, I know how to, I, I, I can figure out how to get the form. That's yeah. not a big deal. And, and, and don't have the one you sent to me for last year. Yeah, and any help, uh, if you call the assessors, they'll walk you through the, the boxes, because we, <laughs> we need something, someplace to start. Yeah, well, I got to pull the file too from OE when we bought the furniture and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. And your uh, your federal form uh, forty five sixty two and it schedule all that stuff also. Mm -hmm. And your federal tax form. Yes. So you, you you might get the information there. Oh yeah, I can get that from yeah. my account. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, okay, I'll get those forms. I'll get that form downloaded. I'll try to fill it out. I'll get a hold of the assessor and I'll get it back over to you. Yeah, because I'll we'll do that by next week without an issue. Yeah, unfortunately, like we can't waive the, the fees for the late filing, so, but we can get it all straightened out for you. Okay. Okay. Very good. I right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. Bye bye. How do you hang up? <laughs> uh, just like you used to when it was an old-fashioned thing. Yeah, it's a funny so um, so what about the yeah, he's got to pay, he's got to pay the fan. Does he have to file? Does he have to file? Does he have to file? But we have no way. Well, he's just saying. Where do we where do we get the computer? Where do we get the computer? Where do we get the computer? Well, I mean, but if you didn't file, you have to get the computer. Oh, 
look at the generic amount and put in for an office or something. Yeah. Okay. Am I, am I not supposed to ask this? Yeah. Yeah. No, uh -huh. yeah. 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 Oh. Right. But for us to make it be. You see, it feels like I'm going to have this one we want to do a file and then we'll deal with it on the end we have a few minutes here how do um how do you feel about um i want to bring up a point of business right now we have three late files um Did they give us a reason? No. Oh, okay. Anyway, we got three link petitions. Do we want to take them and add them to the end of the schedule? We do have room. Yeah. Okay. Everybody in favor, just taking these and adding them to the our schedule when we can fit them in. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. The motion is. From Shirley, that we don't accept any more past this date. But those three late files that we had, uh, we're going to accept and put at the end of our schedule. All in favor? Aye. Lynn and Greg, you guys are. Okay. That's so uh, we made the motion and he's all second some of the bond Hey, I go second. No, yeah, you're Yeah. The next two are the same people. And it's a New Jersey company. And that's a little bit complicated. I'm going to have to take a quick look at it before I make the call. All right. Do we need a motion to that, that we decided to accept these late files or do we need that motion, Bill? And then who seconded that? Did, did, uh, yeah. So Bill made the motion that we should uh, accept the late files that we have in hand. Yeah. Okay, we're just seeing that as one message. Okay. Okay, this is anything technology. Hmm. I'm glad I looked at this. I don't see. And those are three late files that we voted to accept? Uh, yeah, you want to list them? I don't know. I know the number. Okay. Oh, good. I guess that's
So Bill, you're in the back one. Is that right? Just one button. Okay. Hey, Bill. Mm -hmm. uh, that motion to accept the free rate file. Um, since you brought it up, I'm having you making the motion, and I'm having to throw back to the computer that I'm doing for me. Okay. I'm missing the motion form here. Well, but do you need paperwork? In other words, if the, if the equipment, what value was it and where did it go? Mm -hmm. It's still there. Yeah. Somebody else has got to pay. But this guy didn't sort of tax. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very sophisticated GPS system. Um, but he's he again with absolutely no backup. He just threw a number on the sheet and there was no agent form. Oh no, this is So on this form, so that I'm reflecting this properly, it's going to be quite demanding. I'm just going to, I, I'm just going to put it. Um, it's a form you said people sign that shows that they actually work here. So I want to say that we've actually had these conversations. Well, they're recorded. Um, did we put initials or something next to the line showing that that verifying that we. Huntington has two files. I'm doing. Are we going already? We're sorry, you must first dial a one before the area code when dialing the Maybe it won't let me know.
it's long distance. Yeah. Is it blocked for me calling out? No. no? Eight. One. Two. Four. Eight. Nice going on. Huh? <laughs> three, three, nine. Thirteen, four, zero. And this is. Hello, this is Juan. Hi, uh, this is Juan son. Uh, this is. Yes, it is. Yeah, this, this is Madison Board of Assessment Appeals, Bill Lewis. And the other members. Oh, Bill, how are you? Uh, not too bad yourself. The other members present are Lynn, Hub uh, Lynn Hubbard, Shirley Taylor, and Greg Becker. And I'm, and I am, okay. uh, I'm speaking to, to Han's son. Um, yeah, that's correct. Okay. <clears throat> Before we start, you have to take a note. Okay. It. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just ask you a question. You can answer whatever way you feel like. Do you solemnly swear, or solemnly and sincerely affirm, as the case may be, that the evidence you shall give concerning this case shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God or upon penalty of perjury. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now we can start. Um, what kind of company is this? It's an equipment leasing company. It's a lease company. Is it? It's incorporated or an LLC? It's a lease. It's Inc. And you are. I'm the, the, tech, the tech manager in Huntington Technology Finance. Um, so you're an agent? I'm not agent. I'm just I'm an employee of this company, Huntington Technology Finance. You see, we can only deal with... Yeah. I'm a member. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, well, members in LLC. You said you're incorporated. It's not LLC. It's a... Yeah, I should have a signed agent form to speak for the uh, corporation. Um, yeah. We... You didn't file an agent form. Well, I'm the member of this company. I, I have the authorization to sign on the personal property tax return. You're an officer? I'm a manager of this company. Yeah, I, I believe you need an agent form though. Yeah. yeah, can you um, get us a, a agent form? Uh, contact the assessor's office or on, on our website. You, you can pick up an agent form and get it to them so that we have that before we can make any final decisions. Um, I, I don't have the you said uh, this form is uh, it's available on Assessor's website? Yes. Yes, you can find it on our Madison okay. website. Uh, do you want me to, to look for the form right now before we can move on? Uh, well, no, because you can't get it. It has to be uh, <clears throat> notarized and sent to us. So what we can do, we'll, we'll put it with your file. It'll, the, dis the final decision will be held until we we get that agent form. Yeah. Yeah, you can present your case though. 
Okay. Okay, that's good. So okay. we can just uh, present the case, and then we can. Yeah. After that, so we can and uh, forward you the, the the form you you requested. Correct. Okay. That's cool. okay. So we are here. For, I'm here. I'm, I want to let you know. Um, I'm here uh, with uh, another tax guy. His name is Bill Marshall, and we both are working in this return and in this appeal. So. Four of us are going to present the facts with you with the board of review. Okay, so we're going to need to add him to the agent form, Bill Marshall. Yes. I'm so, a contact person on the return. He's also an employee of uh, Huntington Technology Finance. Okay. Uh, if he's going to be testifying, he's going to take an oath also. You're an attorney? Did no. you? Oh, I didn't think so. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you solemnly swear or solemnly and sincerely affirm, as the case may be, that the evidence you shall give concerning this case be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, to help you God upon penalty of perjury? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay, so go ahead with your case. So, yeah, so this one goes first. Okay, so we, uh, the first account number we filed up here is the one, one, two, four, one, zero, eight, five. Okay. Yeah, uh, this assessment, no. the, oh, are you ready? Oh, one second. Where's that fine? Okay. Hmm. Um, well, I actually, I should have done that. The one I have here is, uh, is two oh one five zero five one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that one is yeah. yeah. That's we filed. We don't know which one to go first. So that's all we have we did file two account numbers. It's two zero one five zero zero five one. Okay. That's the one we're working on. So it was that what's that yeah, we can call this one first. Okay. Okay, so for this account number, uh the uh, original assessment is set up for $2,280, yeah. which is incorrect. It should be zero. The reason is that the lease equipment was already disposed of in 2000, December 2019. And so as of October the 1st, 2020, um, the company filed a zero return and asked for the assessor to have the account number closed out. Okay, but did you file a 2019 show where it was disposed of? No, in, 2000, in October the 1st, 2019, Correct. the asset was still active, was still being used at the Lexi's location. Okay. But two months after October the 1st, 2019, it's in December 2019, the asset, the lease equipment was disposed of. So in 2020's return, we filed a zero return with the assessor. But this, this zero return was, well, for some reason, didn't, didn't get accepted and they still issued a false assessment. But on that, on that form, it should have, it should have uh, said where you disposed of it, where and how you disposed of it. And what equipment? We call the disposal. We call the disposal date, and uh, I don't think there's a, there's a, Yeah, we also send out the, all the asset number with the with the inactive asset number, the inactive asset listing attached with the zero return to tell the assessor what is going on with those assets. So you're you're saying you call the assessors? 
that was filed an official zero return on the form on the 2020 collect tax uh, declaration of personal property tax form. Okay, I have that in front of me. But it wasn't taken off the tax rolls. Um, well, it's not filled out. Yeah. There, it, it says attach bill and letter of dissolution form and return it with this affidavit to the assessor's office. It's not signed blank. No, it's signed. It got notarized and assigned. When you prepare this termination, yeah, and then you fill out this disclosure yeah. of property. Yeah. On page four. But I'm not, see, it's not there. No signature. Here's page four, nothing. Yeah, it has not been completed. No. I mean, they wrote, they typed up here. Yeah, this is not filled out. It, I mean, it's just. Four. I'm looking at page four, yeah. What's the page four? There's no signature on page four. Also, no, no, no. No. On page on the front page, right? You have to sign it. And it tells you it instructs you to go to page four. No, this is the business is not coming in. It's the business still active. Just the least equipment was was out was disposed of. Okay, but but you have to you have to give them a detailed listing of the assets, uh, the, and where they went to. Where? How did you dispose of them? Well, usually at the end of the lease, the customer the lessee. Return the assets to a different warehouse, and we just in the warehouse we dispose of those used assets. It's useless. It's, it's okay. there's no value attached to it. Okay. Outside of Connecticut. Okay, but you would have uh, you would have paperwork for that, correct? This is the this bill. It's at the the one you check. Is that the bill of sale? Okay. Uh, yeah, we got the documentation from the operation team. Those assets at the end of the lease, and uh, we sold the assets back to the next lease. Mm. We have the bill of sale to support it. Okay, then you should have that. That should have been attached. Because it, all, all you're doing is changing ownership of the of the uh, material, and it, if it's still in Madison in use, then it's got to be on somebody else's list. So if you have the paperwork, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the assessor should have known that based on the assets uh, reported on the next lease return, because those are the duplicated assets. Well, again, you've got to you've got to supply them with the uh, paperwork. So I would go back to that. You, you need that's it's not signed as blank, um, and there's nothing on on page four is where you're supposed to detail it. It's a, it's a, it's a, but it's yeah. 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 Personal property, right? No, we we are talking about um, confusing about the, the box you mentioned on page one mm -hmm. because from the taxpayer's um, understanding, this the statement that that box is kind of like a it's, it's unclear to us. It's our understanding is that if the business is terminated, that means the business was bankruptcy for all the other reasons out of the operation 
and we need to put the date of operating start on the front page of the box. Okay, but, but this our understanding is but this equipment with all business, how do you have now defined is still in operation? No, no, this is I, I, I understand that, but it says for property. And and in this case, you were terminated that lease, so the property went somewhere. Yeah, but uh, based on your, your explanation is that but our understanding before that we thought because the business went bankruptcy, the business decided to sell all the profits under that business name, and then we need to report everything under the box. So we for our scenario it, it didn't fit to that the, the situation. So we we reported only the inactive and the listing with the zero return to that sector. Hold on here along along with the agent form that you send us uh go back to the you know print yourself up another one fill out page one because we're we're, we're, we're doing now is tracking this equipment okay and give us give us your the list that you said you had Stating that the, this equipment and a detailed list of it went went changed ownerships back to Durham Bus, I guess, huh? Yeah, it's your school system. Okay, so so we need a paper trail for that. Okay, so for this account, uh, so we need to fill out the page one for that box. Correct. And then we need to submit the bill of sale to support that the ownership has been changed from Huntington to that C. Right, they want the detailed and listing. Then to, oh. And we need to submit the agent letter. Yeah, detailed listings of disposed assets. Copy and attach additional sheets if needed. So that it's detailed. So that when you, like for instance, you know, you list, I don't know how many are here, but uh, you know, the. Mm -hmm. The uh, asset is one one five. I don't know whose number that is, but, or a serial number. Where is where is it, and, and uh, what was it purchased for? Okay, okay. And, and on the bill of sale, it says the old, for the, all the assets under this the particular lease number are sold to Duran. So we we only have to. Uh, the, the contract number was tied to the contract number listed in the return. Do you think that's sufficient enough? Uh, well, that's not a detailed list. I would give them a detailed list. You listed, you gave them a detailed list here, but you didn't say, you know, just as on our systems fleet tracking, and then it's got a, a number. I don't, is that a serial number from the, the equipment? Uh, okay, well, uh, Reference where that is now and how it was disposed, what value, and etc. Um, you so we can follow up with those uh, additional supporting documents. So we'll send it to the board of review to you or send it over to the second office. Correct. Which which office we need to submit those uh, oh, the, supporting the, documents? It's to the the assessor's office. Assessor's office. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So I guess for the assessor's office, I don't need to put any specific person's name on the form. No. Okay. So I probably do. I need to put uh, like uh, the. The account number on the form so they know what um, which account number we are talking about. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, we'll put the unique ID number on it. And that that particular file we were talking about is that uh Two zero one five zero zero five one. That's correct. Okay. Just so we don't get them confused. Okay. And is this approximately the same thing, this next one? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
It's just the equipment with a different lessee. I got it. Um, and the lessee on this one. So this one, what, what happened to this equipment? The equipment was uh, leased to a U.S. bank association and the lease was terminated actually one year earlier in 2018. And December 2018, and in 2019, we submitted a bill of return as for the account closure, it was not closed. And then we just need to, we asked for the, the it was assessed again in 2020. So now that's the reason we appeal and ask the assessor to have the 2020 assessment removed. Now this is this is the same type of equipment, just a different. Yeah, different. Uh, different. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Different. Uh, classification and also leads to a different lessee. This is kind of like a like a banking equipment under this account number. The previous one is uh, like a like a, a small hand. Handheld or GPS tracking system, or the, the small tracking system with the Bureau School District. Yeah, the, I mean, the paperwork submitted with this looks like pretty much the same equipment. But you're saying. Yeah. Different address for Durham School oh, Service. Is the, the listing The listing on this one is Durham School Services LP, but it's Weaver Parkway in in Warrenville, Illinois. Uh, what's the account number you talk about? It's one two four one zero eight five. This is okay. it is one two four one zero eight five. Yeah, but he, but he said it's not for U.S. Bank, it's for Durham School District also. Are you talking about the assets under this account number are also leased to Durham School District? Mm -hmm. it, well, that's what, that's the, the sheets that you uh, submitted with that is the equipment, uh, the physical location of equipment was Durham School Services. 4300 Weaver Parkways, Soup 100, Warrenville, Illinois. And it's and it's Zonar Systems, same thing, just a different address on. Yeah, it's the, the, the similar equipment, but it's under a different contract number. We have different contract number with your own school district. Yeah, but so you, I mean, why if it was, if, if the equipment is in Illinois, why would Madison be involved? I don't know why you are, you are saying that Illinois location, I, I don't have that anything. I think that the lessee, maybe lessee's headquarters is in Illinois, but the equipment is actually being used in Madison Connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
If it's if it's different components to like one that I mean what do we have a hundred buses? What's what you say on your side, which page are you looking at that was showing that Illinois location? We don't have that on our on the return we filed to that letter. Um you know the sheets that you gave us that says after property list. No. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Lessor's listing report. Okay. That must be there. I think that's the last piece, the headquarter. I don't think this is the physical location of assets. The least equipment uh, uh, this is the this, source, look. See, this is the what source, uh, see. this is what you submitted with your form. Um, yeah, we print out the lessee's name and the lessee's headquarter address, not the equipment address. Mm. All right. But again, you you got the same case here. You say this was disposed of, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, we need to know where it was disposed of, and uh, you know, de detailed. Oh yeah. When and where, and and again, you you have to file all the. Uh... Okay. Just to clarify, we just found the lessee's name and uh, equipment is in Illinois, but if you look at the same page, at the towards the, the top, yeah, it, uh, it says the Durham School Services, 82 Nathan's Lane in Madison, Connecticut. It that, does have the physical location of the equipment listed on the return. And, and that's the last form that said that, but this one says something different. In other words, the other. No, it's the same. Sorry. I... So in both files, you're saying? Yeah. Different. Yeah. How can we by active assets? 
We have to go back to square one, fill out the form correctly, give us a, a uh, list. Just a recap. We're going to have to go back to your, your form that you filed. I don't know why you filed two. I'm so a little confused about that. Why there's two different. Two different years. Um, we'll have a different account number that's signed by the assessor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 But we, we have got to go. We, we've got to go back. Let's straighten out the 2020, fill the thing out properly. List all these assets, their disposal, et cetera, detail that you have pages up here. And uh, so right right now, where is this equipment? And the based on records, it's bought over by the sea. I okay. don't know where physically it is. I don't know at this moment. I got you. But so, we know it's back in 2019, it was sold bought out by the sea. So in 2019, you sold it to, and we need we need a paper trail of that. You sold it to Durham Bus or yeah, whatever. We can provide you, yeah, we can provide you with the bill of sale. Okay, the details of where all this equipment is. Okay. Well, after well, if they sold it to somebody, if they sold it to somebody in Madison, then then that's what. After, after, after the let's see, bought out the equipment. Yeah. We don't know what happened to those equipment. Oh, no. The that, once we can discern that, then we can find out where the equipment is and figure that out. Okay. Okay. Do we have to know where the equipment is? Yeah. 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 Y
if they should be paying in Madison, then we've got to follow up. If it's yeah. no longer in Madison, then you guys are good. Okay, so just to recap, we're going to go back, fill out the the program. And if you just call the assessor's office, they'll help you out to any confusion you have about what those boxes mean. Yeah, so we, tried, we, we, we tried so many phone calls with the assessor's office. Not, they never answered. Yeah. 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 Ye
So what, why is there a finite performance? That's what they, that's what, that's the thing that they own, they own the property and pay tax on it. I, I think they send income to 620 to show us what they sold. Okay, but, but he just said they didn't sell it at all. Well, it's only a partial list and so forth. So how the hell are we supposed to get that? <laughs> yeah, and it's gotta be someplace. Yeah. So they need to get it on the matter before before they use it. Well, I mean, I told them, I told them to go on the site and get it. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> these are, I apologize. These are usually easy. up in the queue is Kirsten Dioria. Okay, I hope this one's a little bit yeah. And she said they're still in operation right now. That that's a, that's not a hundred percent of the list. So she's just trying to she's she's trying to alter the list and the value, but. No, she's saying it's there. But what she was saying to me is, how do I know what they did with it? Well, that's not your problem. You just got to prove that that's where it ended up. And then we'll figure out. Because I'm sure when they called uh, Durham Bus and say, hey, we got all this equipment that you purchased. They'll go, oh, no, that was. <laughs> so if, if they don't have it anyway. Hi, you've reached the confidential voice mailbox with Kristen Fioria, licensed marriage and family therapist. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. You could also message me directly through my webpage, krdtherapy.com. If you are a client experiencing a crisis, please hang up and dial 911 or go to the nearest emergency room. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Uh, Kirsten, uh, this is Bill Lewis calling for the Madison Board of Assessment Appeals. This is the phone number that you provided. Uh, we want to hear your um, your uh, appeal to your property tax. Um, 
I'll, I'll try you again in a few minutes and hopefully we can get through. Because she can't call here. The word closed, but the voicemail is still showing that you can get Which business is closed? <laughs> you don't want to read the app. Yeah, that doesn't change. Exactly. Yeah, Your ticket is not. Um, yeah, she's shown us she she dumped her advertising. Um, so we have this information, but we can't make a determination without hearing the applicant appeal. Is that correct? So I mean, we can't make a determination just on the information. So they have to come before us and, and make the case. Yeah, so we just her another Yeah, so I think we have to give her another stop. But if we don't hear from her, then the case, we haven't heard the case. We can't hear, but we haven't heard the case. Um, how would you define maybe if there's a next person that would break it down for her? Um, yeah, I was thinking if she's got a website. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting to see if you had. Um, well, yeah, 7.35 is the next guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's uh, Joseph. Can you go to people tomorrow and then the next week and say that while we may be slightly off schedule, maybe early, maybe late, can we still call you if it's not going to be at the exact time? Is there any way to get that? Someone not committed suicide calling her. Hi, uh, could I speak to 
Chairman Lorenzo, please. Yes, sir. Uh, it's Bill Lewis calling from the Madison Board of Appeals, Assessment Appeals. And oh, hey, how are you? Not too bad. And, and members present are Lynn Hubbard, Shirley Taylor, and Craig Becker. And yes. I'm speaking to, to uh, Jammin, I guess. Hmm? Yes. Uh, is anybody else going to testify in this manner? Is anybody going to what we have? Is anybody else going to testify? Just you? Uh, yeah, just, just I'm talking. Yeah, I actually totally spaced. I have you written in tomorrow, but okay. <laughs> All right. Well, just give me a second. To get my yeah. Phone. Actually, and my um, wife is present as well. It, well, if she's going to testify, she just has to take an oath off, though. Oh, okay. When you're ready, let me know. Yeah, I can take the oath. Oh, okay. Do you solemnly swear or solemnly and sincerely affirm, as the case may be, that the evidence you should give concerning this case shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, to help you God or upon penalty of perjury? Okay. All righty. So, you want to explain what your well, yeah, we uh, what do you do with my wife and take the oath too? Yeah, are you a member, uh, chairman of the of the Max LLC? Yeah. An agent for? Okay. Um, can you get us an agent form that you're author uh, authorized member to be speaking for? Yeah. Yeah. I would say, could we? Want me to reschedule this? No, no, no. You, but it, like if you go on our website, you can download the form and just get it to the assessor's office before we oh. we make a final decision. Okay. We went through this um, last last year, I believe. Okay. And um, you know, once again, the assessment nearly doubled here. Um, and I, to be honest with you, we have the property listed right now. We, we can't even get anybody to give us an offer. And our agent is saying that uh, you know this is probably going to sell for south of, of four hundred. And we have an assessment of 479. Um, I, I, you know, I don't know what what kind of comps they used. I, you know, it's, it's, we didn't really get given much of how they came up with the uh, with the, with last year's assessment. Um, I'm trying to get my numbers out. Um, and I just, you know. If we, if we can't if we can't sell it for anything close to, to the assessment, really don't feel that that's uh, that we're being fairly assessed here. Okay, uh, well, can, can you hear it, Shirley? Shirley. Shirley, quick. Asset list. Yeah. Okay, so is this one about the assets? There's there's two that we're doing. Oh, this is personal property. Okay. All right. Let me switch gears. Where's the personal property? Okay. Value 
So we, we went in the 2019 grand list, we were at 270, and this year we're at 600. Well, no, I, I I thought we were. I thought this was the, the actual real estate one, not the personal property one. Yeah, I didn't realize we were because we're we're appealing both. Um, okay. Oh, okay. 280. Uh, uh, so you wouldn't, uh, it's up to it's not $600 that's owed. It would only be about $10 that are, that's owed because 600 is your, is your, um, your property tax. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's the one that we're going to be appealing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. So we, we've got you on for um, 7.35 to 7.50 on March 10th. Okay. For, for this? Yeah, for the first Oh, okay, property. I got you. Okay, yeah, I see that now. Okay, so then I guess, um, I guess maybe I'm filling that, that form out wrong, and, and maybe I've, I've kind of shot myself in the foot and overstated the values, I'm guessing. I, I mean, I can kind of just take an inventory, I guess, of what I what I use down there, and I'll write that list down, and for the next, you know, um, when I fill out this paperwork every year, I'll just I'll just kind of put down on that and figure out, you know, what a hammer's worth, a screwdriver. Yeah, and and you and you want to carry you want to carry forward every year. So, um, and any assistance you need, they're they're really good in the assessor's office. If you call, they'll assist you in filling it out, tell you what it means, etc. Okay. All right, that makes sense. Let's uh, we'll do that moving forward. Yeah, that was. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got the number. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. Bye. So, how do you? What's up in the future? He's not. You know. <laughs> I, I know what's happening. Yeah. The next question. Oh, to how to straighten it out? Yeah. Oh, it will be. <laughs> well, no, it's it's actually, I don't know where he got the 270. On his form, he's got more well, than right here. Fair assessment Yeah, but I don't even know. I don't even know if he's. Is that what that It's it's the uh, <laughs> you'll love this one. It's the uh, fish house. Huh? I thought we did to tell you the truth, but it's you know. But anyway, that one's going to be. We'll get to. 
Okay, so Marianne is, uh, she did not receive a personal property damage uh, declaration. That's her whole case. Just so. This is the big long. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Okay. So that's yeah. not that's not an acceptable view. Yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. Somebody asked that. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. They don't even have to. It's it's coming upon you to buy it. I'll donate to it. Let me know. The key is to change the name. Why did it go to Um, yeah, he it went up by two thousand dollars. we didn't want that's a current assessment. Um, so she's got nothing. No. Now, so they, they must have filed in 2018. No. 2019. Okay. When did they I, there's nothing in here, so I don't know. Yeah, I just want to make Anybody got a violin? Okay. 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 We must first dial a one before the area. Eight six zero is good. I thought that's when. Uh, this is Marianne Romney. Yes. Uh, it's Bill Lewis calling from the Madison Board of Assessment Appeals. Yes. How are you tonight? Not too bad. And present. Oh. It, 
Uh, present other board members present are Lynn Hubbard, Shirley Taylor, and Craig Becker. Oh, how very nice. Um, thank you for being here. Hi. Uh, to start out, uh, we're going to give you an oath first. Are you the only one going to be testifying? Am I the one that is going to be testifying? Yes, I've never done this before, so I don't know. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, do you solemnly swear or solemnly and sincerely affirm, as the case may be, that the evidence you shall give concerning this case shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, So help you God or upon penalty of perjury? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Uh, can you tell us why you're appealing? Oh, well, you know, I don't, I've never done this before, but the reason I was appealing was that um, I think you increased my assessment um, on my office property, you know, the contents of my office mm -hmm. at 82 Bradley Road um, uh, by, I think, a third, maybe. Um, uh, I think from 6,000 or half again as much from 6,000 something to 9,000 something okay. because um, you had said that um, that uh, we never filed a um, uh, whatever that the letter is you know mm -hmm. saying what our contents were worth yeah. and um, but um, this of course is in the middle of COVID and we never received a uh, the form to fill out, um, and you know, of course, no one was in anybody's office any time. But we, you know, were able to check the mail, and uh, and we never received any form. So I was asking if you could, um, you know, um, eliminate the penalty. Uh, that we can't do. That's by state statute, and by statute, we're not allowed to touch the penalty. Okay. Oh, it's by state statute. Yeah, statute. if you, if in other words, you, by November one, you have to have that form in. Uh, okay. And that's uh, that's unfortunately not anything we can do about. We can. I we don't have anything to go by. Um because you didn't file the form for what it actually oh. is or should be. Um, it, so what I would suggest to you is you go online and uh, you don't have to come down or anything. And you'll find the, the form there and you can just download it and print it. Yeah. Fill it out. If you need any help, just call the assessor's office. So I'll explain to you, you know, what goes on there. And okay. if, if you could do that quickly, then we can look at the actual um, number that it should be. But, but as far as the penalty, that, that we can't do anything about. It, now, the penalty goes against whatever number that it should be. Okay? Okay. So, so, so whereas um, my last year's assessment was 6,000 something, uh -huh. and, then, and then you sent me something saying it would be 9,000. And that includes the penalty. Well, yeah, the letter is, it's see, if you don't file, then, yeah. then they're going to look up what does an office typically have, blah, 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 you know, and that's, and that's where you come up with that number. That's why you, you, oh. you want to fill that out to what it actually is. Oh, oh, okay. There's, and then, and and then what is the name of the form? It's a personal property declaration. Yeah. Oh, it's a personal property declaration? Yeah. Artwork. Uh, I had it backwards. It's a declaration of personal property. <laughs> okay. And and so I'll have to ask my accountant who I'm meeting with. And then um and then uh okay, so get that in and 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 say what it, it really is. Yeah. And then they'll and then they'll add a penalty to that, but it, it'll be less probably because my I mean I just have old junk in my office, you know. I I don't I can't afford to buy any new equipment. Um and so so then if we find out what the value is for 
you know, this year and then send that form in uh, and then the penalties will be on the lesser amount. Uh, correct. It's, it's whatever the, with the actual. But it's line 16 is furniture, fixture and equipment and so forth. And you, you want to be careful. And again, if you, when you're filling this out, you can just call the assessor's yeah. office and they'll walk you through it. Because it, you know okay. you purchase it on on whatever date, and then there's a there's a depreciation factor that you uh, multiply it by, and then you have the depreciated value, and you carry that to the front. It's it's actually not very difficult, but, to, but okay. you want to get that, and and uh, if you get it to us as soon as possible, we can act on it before. Okay. Do you research. need to buy a certain date? Uh, yeah. Oh yes, ma'am. Hi. 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 Okay. All right. Well, I should meet with her, um, uh, you know, in the next within the next week. Is that soon enough? Yes. No. Uh, okay okay oh okay well that's that's great and um on the nine thousand well that's on the penalty Okay. All right. Well, well. Let me try to get it in, and if 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 it's you know if for some reason it doesn't get there in time, then I'll just get a bill for the the um yeah. Okay. Oh well, that's a relief. <laughs> um. All right. Well, I'll try to get it in anyway. But if not, then. Then I'll just get that. If something goes awry, I'll 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 get that other that bill. Your accountant could probably help you with that. Probably will probably help you along the process. Oh golly, thank you all so much. I I really appreciate your explaining it to me, and I will go online and download it. Great. Have a good night. Well, you too. You take care now. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.
when that widget number will squeeze her in somewhere. Hi, this is Kirsten. Hi, Kirsten. It's uh, Bill Lewis Hi. calling for the Madison Board of Assessment Appeals. Yeah, thank you for giving me a call back. I apologize. I hit the red button instead of the green button before. <laughs> Are you the only one going to be testifying? Yes. Okay. Uh, I just have to uh, give you an a oath before we start. Okay. Do you solemnly swear or solemnly and sincerely affirm as the case may be that the evidence you shall give concerning this case shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God or upon penalty of perjury? Yes, I do. Okay. And again, I'm Bill Lewis. Uh, present is Lynn Hubbard, Shirley Taylor, and Craig Becker. All right. Now, start your case. Okay, um, I had business downtown Madison for the last couple of years that um, I'm no longer in practice and I've had to close it out. Mm -hmm. um, so I just kind of went back and forth with somebody who works in the office, um, trying to do so by phone and then by um, submitting some documentation. I'm not a very formal business. I was just sole proprietor. I didn't have um, an LLC. I didn't really have formal documentation to show that I had closed up shop. Um, so I basically just drafted a letter and had um, an email from my landlord saying that I didn't have lease there anymore and those kind of things. And thought I had successfully faxed it over. Um, and then when I went to follow up with her after receiving another letter, it turns out the fact either never went through or I, I don't know if it was on my end or that end. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to do is close up my business in town, okay. my physical location. Um, so I don't know, I have the, a copy of the email, the copy of a letter, uh, you know, I submitted the form to change my address. That was a little bit tricky because the address on file is the location downtown mm -hmm. um, that I don't even have a key to. So any mail uh, that came, I was not receiving mm -hmm. until I changed my address. I got you. Yeah. Um, when did you last file? Uh, Asset form with the for your personal property. Um, I didn't do it in the last calendar year. It would have been in 2019. Okay. Um, did you dissolve your? Were you listed in, in the town clerk's office? As a, um, no, this is like not. No, I was not an LLC or an S corp or anything. I was just a sole proprietor in 2019. Yeah, um, actually, I didn't this year because I had a baby at the beginning of January. So I actually stopped working at the end of December. I came back, my hope was to come back early March. Um, so I did come in and try to like get organized. I had to kind of set up some marketing stuff to rebuild the caseload and send out uh, like a mass mail to patients essentially who had just kind of been waiting for my return. Um, so I was in there for two half days, I want to say the second week of March, and then my kids' school shut down um, this week, actually, last year, this week. So since then, I've been home with them. Hi there.
Yeah, my last week was the week um, before Christmas. Okay, so what do you do on, on a business? If you don't file, then it does. Yeah, and, and there's a penalty goes to a generic. And unfortunately, okay. we have no control over the penalty the state. It's that's in the state hands, it's with the state statute. And okay. we are we, we cannot touch that penalty. So that, that's why the difference in price. But even with that increase, your tax for this year would be about $152. Okay, and when you say this year, do you mean for 2021? I mean from October 1st of 2020 through September 30th of 2021. Okay, so is there a way, because I've, I've paid what was owed for the previous, previous one. My question is, and I don't know if I'm doing this appropriately, through you guys, but I'm asking if there are a way to like formally close my business so that I don't have to keep paying for yeah. property yes. I don't have. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Um, when you fill out the form, you you, you uh, there's a place on it, uh, yeah. the, the declaration of personal property form, which you can go yeah. online, download it. Yes, there, I did that. Yeah, there's a place on the front of it it, where it says your business is terminated yep. and then you give them a schedule. What'd you do with it? You know, not what you do with your business. What did you do with the assets that you had? So I sent that form in and basically it says like, did you sell this property? The first page, like I pulled out the first page. Yeah. And basically I just wrote that I was no longer in business and then I did the date that I had no longer essentially had my name connected to the property. Well, I'm sorry, Kirsten, you don't have, you don't have a copy of that. Yeah. I don't know if that was ever received by the assessor's office because we would have a copy of it in the final Okay. Is that the same box where I dropped the I'm do you have in front of you the letters and the emails and things that I had sent? Okay, but there's not yeah. a change of address or a the declaration page. Is that correct? The detailed list is on page four. Okay, 
So when I read that document, it looked to me, I'm trying to pull up a hard copy. If I, if I usually take a copy of my things before I send it over. Um,
How does one come to know this when they go to set up a business in town? Unfortunately, not very smart. And it doesn't have a whole lot of work for a whole lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot of information on our website that describes how to do this. But um, yeah, and it's kind of left up to the person starting the business. It's a very simple Yeah. It's the clerk's office different than the tax office, yeah. different than the oh, yeah. inspector's office. Is it located on the town campus? Yeah. And every town, whatever town you're talking about, you know, say you went to Clinton next or something, the same thing. It, you know, town clerk's office where you register your business name. Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate your guidance on this. And and as a really good starting point would be, even though it's late, I'd fill out the 2020 because that's your basis to do, that uh, you can go on and and then when you list those assets who are gone, just list where they are. And if it's in the right place, you filled all the boxes and you're good to go. Okay. Okay. I will do that. I'm going to, and the office is closed. Like, I can't walk in and hand this to someone, correct? I should just drop it in the mailbox. Uh, you, can, you can call them and make an appointment, or you can use the drop box. Okay. But if you call so, them, they'll. they'll... So I, I'm wondering, is this part of the problem? So I have the 2020 declaration pulled up on line right now. I'm looking right at it. Yeah. And it says, if you no longer own the above notice noted business or personal property assessed in your name last year, you do not need to complete this declaration. You must, however, return this declaration to the assessor and provide information related to the name. So that's where I, I took it as I fill out the first page. Well, a couple of things. One is like Shirley went through the dates with you. You actually were doing business in the, in that time period. Correct. So, so you have to one right. Could be, yeah, you should have filled it all out. Because it says right there, you do not need to fill out this form, but you must complete this. No. But um, this is Craig Becker. You don't have that form that you can fill out. That's the problem. If you ever turn that page with just just declaring that the business is closed, which it wasn't for that time, but if you had, that would have been enough. But we do not have that form. Okay, I will just make another copy and send it over. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your time. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. Good luck. Good night. I'm glad we got through. We got yeah. <laughs> so, you keep adding on calls. So, you got some form and then you have to call us and then you have to Right. So, but the form doesn't really state that. The form, just says, the form just says, I told you my business, and it doesn't say, you know, I took my assets from last year. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it, there's a list there. Right. 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 The, the thing is, you know, if you go online, there, there, you, know, right. you can hire a lawyer. Exactly. Very long, 
Good night. <laughs> Good night.